This is a super short video. I am going to include photos probably at the end because that seems to be the easier way to do it. I used my Fujifilm X106 at a wedding last weekend. Um, not as my main camera. I shot most of the wedding on my R6 and then my R8. Um, this, like those were on my harness and this was in front of me. I found that especially in situations like during the ceremony when people are walking down the aisle towards me, I'm using my R6 with the 85 on it. When they got closer to me and I wanted a wider shot, because it was a very short aisle, it was a very small wedding, it was so easy to just hold this up and snap a few photos really quick and they were so in focus. Like this was so snappy, I was shocked. Um, I'm, I was actually very impressed with the autofocus. I did notice a huge jump from my X100V, which I still have up there. So I did notice a huge change in that. I didn't shoot any video, this wedding was a lot, so I really didn't have much opportunity to do much else. It was also really hot and no air conditioning because it was at a barn. Um, so I just wanted to say I was very impressed with this. I did use the digital teleconverter um, to get closer shots, especially during like dances and speeches because I was up on a platform kind of thing because that was just easier because everybody kept walking up front to go to the bar. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna stand up here so nobody gets in my way. Um, I got a lot more close up photos with my R6 with the 7200 anyway, but this was more to just hold up and get a wide shot. I found that inside, and I think it was because I have the skin smoothing effect on strong on here. I think that's why those photos looked a little odd when I looked at the JPEGs. Um, so it's almost something that I need to have a setting on the back where I can control turning that on and off really fast. Cause for portraits and stuff, that looks amazing. But like for a wide shot of something like that, it was a little soft, I felt like, or just like, smoothed on purpose, like digitally smoothed. Like that's where I was like, I think it's the skin smoothing effect. Um, I also, I'm still trying to figure out the correct simulation of what I want. So all these photos that you're gonna see are all ones I did edit to match the wedding that I did. But also because I used Portra 400 version two as my main simulation outside at the wedding and I don't love the greens that come out of that. So I probably need one that's more based in Real Ace or Classic Neg or something like that because I like a more muted green, but I also like flattened highlights. That's just like how I edit, especially on a really sunny day like that. Um, the raws were fine. It's more just like the JPEGs. I didn't love the colors. So I need to figure out a better one for something like that, maybe one that matches. So if you guys think of something that you think of that matches this, like let me know, cause I'm having a hard time finding one. Uh, inside, I used Reggie's Portra. That's my go-to inside recipe all the time. And the photos of like the bridesmaid helping the bride get ready, like the colors were so good. Those I didn't really edit much. Those were more what I got. Um, but yeah, I, I'm very happy with how this performed. I It actually made me kind of wish I shot Fujifilm for weddings. I'm not going to lie. And I am now debating if I want to try out an X-T4 and just see how that goes. Not for weddings, but just to try it. It would be a really good camera, I think. Um, mostly because I don't want the X-T5 because I want the screen that flips all the way around. Because for me, if I'm gonna use a camera like that, I wanna be able to do like self-portraits and things, which is really hard to do when you have to set the camera, jump in and hope you're in frame. I hate doing that. That's why I like using my Canons for stuff like that. Um, I have the X-T32. I feel like it does have some limitations, but that screen is also one that I would love to have the upgrade of. It also doesn't have IBIS um, or weather sealing. I don't know if any of my Fuji lenses have weather sealing, um, but I have quite a few Fuji lenses already, so it would be something really interesting for me to try. The colors, just when I was seeing them on my camera, like I said, I know I didn't love some things about the greens and stuff, but in general, the colors I was getting as I was checking the back of my camera, I was like, these look so good. And then my Canon, I don't really get that feel until I get home and edit the photos. Once I edit the photos on my Canons, I'm fine, but like the what I see out of my camera, I'm like, ugh. Um, so I was, I was very surprised and happy and kind of like, man, shooting Fuji might be really nice. Um, not saying I'm jumping to that, but it's a thought I've had. So here's some photos I took at this wedding and hopefully you guys enjoy them. Let me know. Mm -hmm. 